Hello and welcome to RadToots.com basic flash animation tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be creating an animation of a sun rising over the horizon. So the first thing we want to do is create several layers for our various objects in our animation. And the way we do that is we come up here and we right click and we select insert layer. And you're going to want to do that about five times so we have five layers. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to draw our skyline. So we're going to select the rectangle tool and draw a box around your canvas here. So now we've got a nice sky. And uh, we're going to want to name our layers to something more descriptive than layer 1, layer 2, etc. So we double click on the name and we type in the name of our layer. This one's going to be sky and then hit enter. And we're also going to have the sun, the ground, maybe some clouds, and we'll put a tree in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw the sun by selecting the sun layer and this first frame here. And we're going to use the oval tool. Now we're going to make it yellow, maybe a orange line around it. And we're going to make that orange line about mm -hmm. three pixels wide. Click and drag. Boom, there's the sun. Now, in order to animate an object, we have to first convert it into a symbol. And the way we do that is first you select your object, and then you hit F8. Now, our symbols are going to be graphics because they're not going to be animated themselves. We're going to animate them in our main timeline over here. So we're just going to create this symbol called the sky. Type in the name, click OK or hit enter. And we're going to want to select the sun now. And what we would normally do is click and drag to select the sun, but you'll notice that uh, the sky is in the way, and then when I click and drag, I start dragging the sky. A good way to select objects is to lock the other uh, the other layers that you don't want to select. So in this case, we don't want to select the sky, so we're going to come up here and we're going to lock the sky layer. Now you'll notice if I click, it's not selecting the sky. So I can select the sun now. And hit F8 change this into a graphic symbol and there we go so now I'm gonna draw in the ground here I'm gonna make this green nice dark green line and there's our ground now I'll draw the clouds make them a nice light blue maybe a gray color that light blue line. Draw in a couple ovals here. I don't want these line segments here, so I'm going to select those and hit delete. And there we go. Nice little cloud. Now I'm going to convert this cloud to a symbol as well. Select the cloud, hit F8, name it Cloud. And you'll notice that once you convert an object into a symbol, you'll have this nice little blue box around it. And that indicates that it is a symbol. Okay, last but not least, we're going to draw our tree. So, using the paintbrush tool, select a nice brown color. I'm just drawing a little stump there. And then an oval for the branches and the leaves. There we go. That's a pretty good tree. Now another way of selecting things is to lock all the layers. Now we can't select anything. And then just unlock the one layer that you want to select or modify. So in this case we want to we get at this tree here. So we're going to unlock this layer. And we're going to select all this stuff here. And hit F8. Call it the tree and boom there's our tree and let's unlock all these layers here so we can see 
We've got these all converted into symbols now. Oh, except for this one. I forgot about that one. So lock all these layers and select the ground. Hit F8. And there's our ground. Okay, now that we've got all our objects, I'm going to go ahead and unlock all these layers. And I'm just going to move them around to make sure they're in the, in the proper order. So we can see that the sun is behind the cloud here. So let's say we wanted the sun to be in front of the cloud. We'd select the sun layer here, and we would drag it. Click and drag above the layer that you want it to be in front of. So say we wanted it to be in front of the tree. We would have to click and drag above the tree. But that doesn't really make sense, because the sun is behind the tree and the cloud. So we'll drag it down here. And actually, it's going to be behind the ground as well, but still in front of the sky. So that's where it goes right there. 